Probably. Okay, what was the Tico's newest video? Channel, Their face clown? Yeah, okay, let's watch <laughs> this. To get anyone's attention, to be... The fact that I have to sit here and make a video as someone who's been a member for 12 years. So, there's a video out. Their face clan. I don't know uh, what this can be, but... Uh, Here comes zombies and the video. Let's see what uh, is going on in face clan. To get anyone's attention, to be taken seriously, is crazy to me. I've tried to solve this privately for years. For fucking years. The fact that I care this much and I'm not even a real owner. Everyone has made it very clear that I'm not an owner and I'm not even near any of the top dogs and I don't matter for shit. You've shown me over and over and over again that I do not mean shit to you all. How are you gonna be the biggest organization in the world? Leaders in this scene, pushing this scene forward, pushing this industry forward, leading by example, and you can't even take care of your members that's been in for 12 fucking years. I've never claimed to be on Apex Banks, Tempers, Reigns level, okay? I never claimed to be them, I never claimed to be an owner, a leader, any of that sort, okay? I know my place and they've made it very sure what my place is. Like, I've never tried to get what they have. I've never tried to be them. Like, trust me, okay? I'm not delusional. It's this <laughs> leading me on with fake promises, with just lies and then never owning up to it, always blaming someone else. Do you wanna hear something even crazier? The only contract I've ever had with FaZe, guess what contract that is? The only contract I ever had, guess. I don't know, none. The Tifu contract, the only contract I ever had with FaZe. As I was publicly defending FaZe on Twitter, everywhere, about that whole situation, I was in the same contract myself. Let that fucking sink in. I told them I need this contract terminated today or I'm going public with it. And they did terminate it, okay? But here's the thing, this is like 2019. Even at that point, no follow-up, no new deal, no new contract, no like, hey, we, we wanna make this right, nothing. I always thought I was just building so I never asked for anything. But either you're gonna include me with you guys, even at a smaller scale, at least do that or pay me. Or pay me like any other fucking employee doing work for you. Twice, I did the champion collab photo shoot and I have to go out at seven in the morning to get pictures for the shoot the same day. For free, by the way, while you sell the drop for millions and millions and millions of dollars. You can't even pay me a little bit for the fucking photo shoot. It's just all this like where I always feel like I just owe you something. I just owe you something because it's such a fucking privilege to be in phase, right? I've been in this fucking gray zone where like I'm not the owners of these guys because like no, obviously I'm not nearly as important as these guys, but I'm also not getting paid for anything. Hello, I'm right. just in the middle. Hey, you're a valuable member. Here's a contract. Nah, nah, because it's such a fucking privilege to be in phase. But what, what, what uh, question is? Why isn't it like, has he gotten zero money from them? Or, or what is it? Hello. I'm so fortunate to be in phase. I never asked for anything and I just said yes and yes and yes and did everything you ever asked for. Get paid I'm in cloud. never asking for anything because I thought I was going to be included with y'all. Someone else can come in as late as last year who's not from this industry, never lifted a finger for phase, probably didn't even know what phase was, and get three times the amount of shares that I have and a monthly or annually salary that's more money than I've ever been paid from face by a mongful. In all of these years, we always hear talent first, talent first. Talent is the most important thing. No, we're not. You. I can tell you what's the most important thing is. Money is the most important thing. Does it bring in money though? You've always showed us otherwise. You've always showed us that these recruits that you make, the celebrities who get more, like Snoop Dogg and his son has more money and more shares than a lot of FaZe members who were here from fucking day one. It's not even just about me at this point. There's so many people. Yes, Rain is right. For everyone that's saying Rain's tripping, Rain is the only guy who has balls to speak up. He's the only one that's not letting them walk all over us because he cares about the brand. I care about the brand. And I'm not even a fucking owner like that. I don't own nothing compared to them. My opinion is not valid for these people. They don't give a fuck about me. I had to invest money in FaZe to even have any kind of part of it because they had given me nothing. I've been in FaZe for nine years at this point. And the first way in for me is me having to invest $50,000 of my own money. And even in that whole process, 
they fuck me over. So I'm asking you, this is not a video where I'm gonna like, I'm leaving face. I'm asking you, am I in face? Because I've been in for 12 years and you would think that someone that's been in for this long and have such history with you guys would have some kind of deal with you and a contract with you and incentive with you to move forward with you. There's nothing. At this point, he has tried over and over again. Was it nine years? They're saying, no, you're not getting any money from us. Then you should probably leave. Nothing for me at this point with face. There's nothing like I have a salary. I don't have anything to work towards. I don't have like, no matter what I do, I don't make anything more from this point. There's nothing. So I guess you don't need me. I guess I'm not a valuable years. person then, you know? I'm just a small time. I should have just been lucky that I was even a part of it to begin with, right? I had over $100,000 in FaZe's bank when we bought the CSGO team. I did get the money back like a year later, okay? So I'm not saying that. I did get my money back. You're just not going to act that like I wasn't a part of that, that I wasn't like low-key. One of the reasons we even got a CS team to begin with. And I'm not taking credit for making it happen at all. I had nothing to do with that. But if you don't feel like I was any kind of bridge and I had $100,000 in a bank account and I've been to more CS events than all of our owners combined. I give more fucks about that than all of our owners combined. They can't even make as much as a tweet when we win a major. Oh yeah, I care about this. Yeah, faces. No, you don't. I'm not even an <laughs> owner and I care more than you do. I used to pay for my own flights to go to tournaments with the CS team. I used to take them out to dinner, pay for the dinner with my own money and never ask for reimbursement because I just wanted to represent FaZe the best way I could. I swear on everything. So I've done all of these things. If all of this is true, it sounds like you should get a better, uh, better team. I never asked for anything because I always thought, no, I'm building. We're building. I'm a part of this. Even though I'm less, again, I want to clarify it. I know I'm not the real owners and I never tried to be. I'm never asked to be or never asked to get what they have. But holy fuck, it's disrespectful when you put it all together. FaceClan insisted in making the clothing with me, like my merch drop and stuff like that. And I was like, you know what? It makes sense. We'll do it together. Well. It's a good split. We'll make it in-house. They fuck up the design and like the manufacture process. And then I have to go on Twitter to find out that these people haven't received their hoodies two months later. And I don't even get as much as an apology. And some of those people got the wrong hoodies because you put the wrong print on. After that, I obviously don't want to do clothing in-house with FaZe anymore. So I do it by myself. I pay for the designs myself. I found a manufacturer myself. Everything, okay? I do everything myself. I didn't ask FaZe for yeah, a single I like, thing. Yeah. I get my own websites, tico.com, pay for it, everything. Always, and then they still wondering. contact me trying to get 20% of my profits without ever doing anything, no design, no help with nothing. They're still trying to take 20% off my clothing drops and my merch drops and my rug drops because I'm in face. You did nothing for me. If anything, you were the one to push me away. I wanted to make it with you guys and you couldn't deliver. In a way, face is bigger than it ever was, but it's also smaller. I can answer a question. I just want to listen to this first. Than it ever was. All of these collabs that we were doing with really, really big brands. You know what it is to me? All of these collabs that's coming out. It's like band-aid or silver tape on internal bleeding. That's the way I see it. And they think talent don't matter. They think that we don't matter because they think that they can do everything because they see the FaZe logo as the Nike logo and they can just do whatever they want. But there's no depth I used to, to watch them before. There's okay. no substance there. There's nothing behind that FaZe logo backing it. There's no culture anymore. That's what these people don't understand. So I'm asking you right now, once again, since you claim to be the biggest org in the world, you know, the leader in the space, Pushing this whole community forward, leading by example. Am I in phase or not? Because if I'm not, I would like to see a statement that I'm not anymore. And I'm, I'm cool with it. Trust me. I can stand on my own two legs. I have a very fucking good community. I'm not worried about that at all. You need people like me more than I need you. And I know you guys don't think that. You're probably laughing. Oh, we don't need him. You'll be surprised. You need people like me in phase. I don't need you. If I'm not in anymore, please make a statement. Let everyone know how you dropped me. I'm cool with that. Let everyone know you dropped me. I can't believe I had to make this video. I can't believe I had to sit here and say all these things because you would never take me seriously and you never gave two fucks about me because apparently I bring zero value to you. You've showed me over and over and over again how I do not mean shit to you. And I'm fully ready to lose it all. I'm fully ready to lose all these relationships. I'm fully ready for these people to hate me and never speak to me again. I'm fully ready to lose out on money. Who knows what's gonna happen? At least I can go to bed and I can wake up and keep my head straight knowing I did the fucking right thing and I fucking stood up for something. 
I didn't just let these fucking people walk all over me with all these lies. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. But in reality, they're just paying their buddy more money than the majority of talent has ever fucking seen who was here for fucking day one. Oh, that's a statement. A hard statement. I would have probably just said goodbye. He just asked to be in the clan. And nah, he says that he has been working for them for 12 years. And they don't give a fuck. Yeah, he should be standing up for himself. You can literally hear the pain in his voice. Respect for speaking up uh, about this, Tiku. Tiku. You deserve to be in face and always uh, got your back. So, face can it happen? Is it ain't happening? Listen, I could probably yank some viewership from them, but I wouldn't work for them for free. Ooh.